<laughs> I'm feeling. <laughs> oh boy. I can't say it within the first eight seconds, so I have to let eight seconds play before I can say what this message is gonna be. Alright. Let me let me dim. I want you I'm just gonna show you guys instead. Alright, I want you to see an RF. Okay. I want you to see that's the message today. Okay. We're gonna see what this is. This I can't even say, but that's what they flipped out. So it's a black person, but could be a white person, because when I say nigga, um, that's a term in ende of endearment, just like everybody else, right? It doesn't make any difference that I'm saying it as a white person, although people want to say that. So um, the other two, I don't really get down with, but I feel like this is just somebody that's like that. All right. Tell me about this. We'll say NRF. Okay. You're acting like such an NRF. Shut your fucking mouth. I mean, this this could be a younger water sign. I mean, and hold on. This is somebody though that um, projects all of their pain and suffering onto other people. I do. I feel like this is a very immature person, and when they drink, they say this stuff. They it's like diarrhea of the mouth. Yeah, this person, what, is, is this someone that's sending people to someone to like plot revenge on somebody? Ooh, <laughs> ooh, um, what, what are they plotting? Someone's death, okay. Could be Sean Freeman and, and someone named Tiffany, Chloe, um, I mean my god, really? There could be somebody named Chloe that wound up passing away. They, they, um, they could be plotting the death or, or having people come to somebody to, to plan a passing of someone that's actually a good person. It could be like a god and a goddess. I feel like somebody is in love with another person. I mean, look look at this woman. Somebody could have cut a cord with this person. If they didn't bring a cord, <laughs> um, then somebody was like, I'm done with the Cora. Could have... She didn't have a head. Uh oh, I don't know. Somebody. I hope it's not something like that. I hope somebody's not that dark behind the scenes where they beheaded somebody. Smooth. Somebody. Somebody thought they were smooth. Smooth criminal. I don't feel it. Doesn't feel like smooth. Somebody thought this was gonna go smooth. Whatever this was. This plan. This plot. Whatever. It wasn't strategic enough. But this person gets off. I feel like this person hates women. They hate beautiful, strong, sensual women. I feel like this person would rather be with somebody that's probably just like them. But look at this person. Look how healthy she is. She's just sitting there like, <sighs> Garcon, feed me grapes, please. This is a goddess. This is also somebody who only, though, in the low vibration sees women as sex objects. So there could be somebody that um isn't sexually... Uh, all right, so I don't know who this cat is that's doing this, that, that talks like this and drinks and just has, and says these things to people or about people, but it feels like this person, the thoughts that they have about women are very vulgar, like doing bad things to women. This person could have lost their life because of what they were planning on doing to somebody else. Like, here, we're going to come here, we're going to plan this, and then all of a sudden, boom, somebody else could have actually... This person could have lost their life because of it. With the Edge, there's a Samsung Edge, I feel like, that's in the mix of this. There's someone's phone. You're gonna turn heads, or somebody's turning heads. Boast, this person could have boasted and said that they slept with another person or something and they never did. Like somebody doesn't want anything to do with somebody like this. Sucked on my partner's toes because I thought it would be sexy. They could have said that they did something sexual with with a female. I mean, it could be someone named Tiffany, Miss Obama. <laughs> I mean, why would that come out? Hold on a second. I gotta add something here. There are clones posing as other people. I 
feel like there's some people who don't know the difference between the clones and the originals. Miles, there could, I don't know if there's a hit on Miles or Miles planned this, it's, you know, but um, there are some people that need to start realizing the difference in clones. You'll be able to tell when you're close up. So somebody, somebody could have, um, you know what, this person could have done something sexual with Obama. <laughs> Clone? The clone? Yeah, this feels like kidnap. Like this was what some people were planning and because of it, somebody or some people passed. If they could have been doing this to a Taurus or this could be somebody who works for the government. If this, this could be on Trump. Not the camel toe. There could be a Taurus tarot reader that's saying some shit here, though. Yeah, it could be an earth sign or an air sign, but I feel like when somebody says something, um, some people wind up turning their back because they find out this person's an earth angel. So somebody's lying to get people to do this. You'd have to lie to get someone or people to do this to somebody. You would have to get clones to do this shit to somebody. All right, because look at this woman. Look at her. Look at her hair, her skin. She eats healthy. She's just sitting her mind in her business. Somebody's telling a lot of lies to get some people to do some boasting about what. You know, I feel like when um, there could have been some people who are attacking this person, and now that people are seeing who this person is and what they stand for, now there's people who want to say, like, I hooked up with that person or I dated that person. It's like, nah, 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 nah. I feel like you guys at one point were planning on doing nasty shit to this person keep it that way you know what I mean however you felt about this person before it's it, it feels real um like if, if we thought you looked or that you were someone else that would have been okay for how we treated you but now that we see that you are or you look like this now all of a sudden it's different like pe I hope people aren't judging whether someone deserves to be attacked or sexually assaulted or kidnapped based off of their looks you know like if somebody was a crack doesn't it doesn't a crackhead doesn't deserve it either this your hair is so straight and long that i can already tell that you love horses I'm not going to get into the horse thing okay um but there is a female around here that has slept with a horse and she's being blackmailed or she was being blackmailed but somebody could have horse hair extensions long straight hair or somebody has hair like that like pretty hair your laughter is so infectious that the CDC is currently drafting guidelines about it. So somebody just has a nice laugh, a nice voice, nice hair, and nice skin to eat healthy. Okay, so now what? Now what? You're an outlet, this person, you're an outlet for somebody? Yeah, this is in love, and now people are in love. The same, okay, this are, there's people who once were attacking somebody who are now like, oh. You could have a good voice. For somebody, you're, you're a singer, you're already a singer, you're already in the industry, and this is how people feel about you, a surgeon. There could be a surgeon that's in love with somebody, like an actual legit surgeon. I mean, I hope this isn't a surgeon that, you know, gets involved with organ trafficking, um, but you never know. I feel like this is options that somebody has. If, if there are surgeons, lawyers, like people um, that... Uh, stature right i feel like there there's people who they were talking shit about this person to get them to not want to deal with them or look at them or and then what something happens and now it's like oh well, i mean i dated that person right well oh now that now that we see that they're like this now all of a sudden you want to say that or they're saying like that's my friend or this out or the other huh? secretly gay a surgeon <laughs> Uh, boy, here we go. Their father is the karmic masculine in their life. This could be Sean, Frank, Fred, Tiffany, Francesca, um, Southern. Southern Comfort? Freak? They could have said that you're a freak in bed and they never slept with you. Like, this person does this and it's like, I don't even know you, bro. <laughs> You know, like I would walk past you on the street. I'd never seen your face. 
uh, there's a lot of attention on somebody and that's why the same people who were once targeting someone now see that they're seen, they're being seen by more than just people in the community. So now people are going to try and, I don't know, for some people they're still going to try and ruin someone's reputation to the point where they're going to ruin their life. And for others, it's going to be now, oh, no, no, like, I, you know, we love, we hung out with this person. And it's like, I, you don't, well, let's talk about the person. All right, let's talk about whoever this, this female is. Tell me about this female. Yeah, balances the scales of justice. So this, this female's walking karma, and I feel like that's what people are realizing, okay? They, they've been studying you. That some people, people may be realizing, like, dang, you know more about this. Okay. There are some people who are um, noticing, like, so you, oh, oh, that's her doing this. Or that, oh, she eats this cat. It's like people know so much about someone's life. It's like they were studying another person, maybe because they were targeting someone, because this is also my target. And, and it's like, you know, like, you've been doing it this long that you know what they're eating and what they're picking up. It, it feels like real creepy. Like you're every time, the more you talk, the more it seems creepy about this situation. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but this is definitely someone who is walking karma. Yeah. Judgment. So when you mess with someone like this, because they are a good person, they are a healthy person, healthy mind, healthy food, healthy mind. Like somebody understands this. Okay. So it's like, well, what are you telling us? They could have been saying some real foul shit about somebody. And it's like, we can look at this person and tell that it's you. You know what I mean? You could tell the difference in whoever's saying this and then the person that they're saying it about. So now what? Someone's good with their words. Accomplishment. Now, now all of a sudden, hold on. Yeah, that you're a good Samaritan. Now these people are going to act like they were good to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, they're fooling somebody. Don't don't be fooled by somebody and then think acting like they were angels and shit like that. Somebody, they're shapeshifters and they're jealous of a divine masculine. They're jealous of divine feminine. These people are jealous, jealous, jealous. They don't like the fact that somebody's a warrior and these people are energy vampires. So what is it? You didn't like somebody, you targeted somebody and you talked all kinds of smack about somebody and now that you see that somebody is like what? Like drop dead gorgeous or handsome because if this is a dude, it's like they're beautiful, they're perfect, they're... And now all of a sudden, what, now you want to say that you're friends with this person? Because that's what it feels like. But I, there, unfortunately, there are going to be people who are going to be fooled by this. It depends on if they're on drugs or not, you know? I mean, what I'm realizing is that uh, it doesn't matter what the title somebody has. There are a lot of people that, I don't know if it was because of that sickness that came around that forced everybody to wear a mask, but people just got real dumbed down and complacent. They just believe everything that they hear, and it's because... There's a lot more people who are hurt on this planet than we think. I mean, only some of us can admit the fact that we've been hurt and that we healed, but other people are still hiding it, and we are still hiding that shit. Somebody got thrown off the bridge. Let's just do it. I've been trying to avoid this message because it's like usually it's somebody who deserves their goddamn karma, but they keep putting the shit on here so they want me to talk about it. It shouldn't matter what somebody looks like as to whether or not you attack them or you talk shit or try to ruin their reputation. Power on. Boom. But there are some people where it don't matter what you say. You can tell by somebody what they give off, by somebody's essence, that whether they've done something or not. Who got thrown off the bridge? I guess do you want to give me full first and last names? Or who got thrown off? Who got thrown off the bridge? They may not want me to say, hey, it's okay. Or this is a Kelly or a, key, a cop. Williams. Keith Williams, Kevin Williams, Sean Williams. They're all part of this together. I mean, I mean, what what makes somebody throw somebody off a bridge? Yeah. Harvest. Oh, okay. They're organ, there's organ harvesting. A strike. You may have to go on strike or something like that. This has gone on long enough. What is this? On a scale from 1 to 10, you're a round number. Somebody could be getting round. 
harvest, I'm telling you, somebody's involved with organ harvesting and, and with the child shit they're talking about, child trafficking. These could be the people that are, are actually. I don't feel like, though. I feel like there's a Keith Williams that got thrown off a bridge. Yeah, your intuition is being clouded. A lot of people's intuition is clouded. Um, hold on. Is this Keith Williams? Sean and Sean Williams? Ask Alice. Roost, they come to snuff the rooster. Alice? Ask Alice, could she have something to do with it? Keith Williams is a chosen one. Honestly, wasn't Sean too? I forget. My phone just lit up. Yeah, hold on. These are two, are these like brothers or something? They're they're chosen. That's why jealousy, jealousy. So they're at the ridge. I guess somebody's gonna wind up, or I hope somebody's gonna. I mean, a Gemini, but yeah starting to back off but because there's so much attention on something it's way too much like you guys can't even construct or concoct some bullshit now because it just feels like too many people are talking about this person Adam A-T-O-M though they see you outside and they think that you're praying dumbasses or this, this is how this all started I guess they thought you were weak or they saw you outside. You could stay to yourself or maybe you sit in the grass or you put your feet in the grass. You, you lived your life differently than these people and they thought that you were the weird one and it turns out, surprise, we're the weirdos. <laughs> this one's the normal one or these people are the normal ones. Tell me about they, they um see you outside and they think that you're prey. Yeah, and they watch you and stalk you. Recognition. Uh, people are starting to give the recognition where it's deserved now. At, at one point, I feel like you weren't getting any recognition for whatever this is that you're doing. Superstar, right? But now that they see that somebody's destined to be a star and that everything is going to come out, now it's going to be, oh, no, no. I mean, I mean, like, you know, we I talked to that person or, you know, I went out to eat with them and shit like that. And it's going to be like, motherfucker, I don't even know you from a fart in a windstorm. That's how. That's what it feels like. It's too late for that now. What's this? Yeah, look, and they're fooling. This is like, I. the good thing about this is because that heat in this card in the upright is healthy, beautiful, natural beauty. You'll be able to tell. Like, I just don't feel like this person looks like they would be friends with someone like you or people like you because if this is the kind of thing where you start to get a targeted, we'll say, just to keep it, whatever, around quarantine, and you are one of those very few people that got your life in check because you realized that something had to change and these people took that as, well, I mean, I guess because we're wearing masks that I can marry people without their consent. I can hack people's stuff. I can show up at, to court online as other people because we're wearing a mask and now shit's coming back to people. They went downhill and I feel like their looks went downhill with them. And it's like, well, I mean, it, it's, you know, not, not that, not that, like, cause I have lived in California, I lived in Hermosa Beach and I would go out of my way. I didn't really vibe with a lot of people there because a lot of them were stuck up. Not everybody, but a lot of them were just judgmental. And, um, there was a certain group of people that worked and hung out in the bar I lived above that I, I stayed talking to them but outside of that place it just felt like real judgmental anyway I would go out of my way to talk to this homeless guy that used to play the saxophone um, when I used to come back from working at chart house so it's like that I, but this is just the type of people where you can tell the evil in their face okay right it's there's no way that they're going to be able to keep up with whatever this initial story was that somebody else was the problem or you know we didn't do this and well you know what, what are you doing and why did you target this person what are you what kind of influence are you confrontation that these people only like confrontation or that they constantly bring confrontation to places like you're you're well you're like that and all you bring is confrontation and you're a bad influence you're useless i mean what, what you, you know unless you're just someone to see oh i don't want to be like that that's about the only purpose that you serve at this point is that's what i don't want to be you know or that's what i don't want to be anymore and that somebody else is influencing people yeah 
I mean, there could be two females that are trying to say this. It could be an earth sign and an air sign um, by the breaker that are trying to say that they are friends with somebody or, yeah, uh-uh. What is this? <laughs> okay. This could be, they could even be saying that they were in a relationship or that they hooked up with it. Like, they could be saying that if they're lesbians, they could be, like, saying that um, they hooked up with you or they were friends with you or they could even be saying that they hooked up with your boyfriend or your first. Somebody here, it's like, they're, 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 I don't know why. It's like, it feels like unnecessary conversation that's just lies. Like, you'd be better off just being quiet because I just feel like people are sitting there, whether they're saying it or not, and going, Amanda, I feel like they're just sitting there going, I don't know, somebody needs to have the balls to be like, look, like, I really don't even care about this shit to tell you the truth, you know? It feels like someone's excessively explaining or talking and it doesn't make any sense or it's unnecessary. I didn't ask any questions. Now you're over explaining and you're, and you're making yourself look like a fool. Ancestors are so proud of you, though. For how you handled something. Henry. Sink. Look, friend or foe. Don't act like you're a friend now. Don't you dare do that. Don't you act like you're a friend to somebody's now because you know that there's going to be something real public coming out about this shit, right? And someone's taking names. Someone can, if, if it's, if, if you're anything like, well, I don't know anybody else that does what I do, but I can actually get names of all the people that were involved in the shit that was going on with me. You know what I mean? And I, I don't think people thought about that when everything was going to start coming out. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that now. You chose to be an enemy, so just stay that way. Is a woman beater? I mean, I feel like this person, um, or these people, yo, tell me that they could, I feel like there's, it's women beaters, that there was a bunch of males who are attacking a woman or women that now want to act like they dated the person. Because what, what are you going to say? You're friends with her? Now, all of a sudden, are you gonna, what are you going to try and say that you protected this woman instead now? I don't feel like they believe you. Do they look like the kind of men that would protect a woman? You are an enemy. Period. Yeah, yes, you. If someone's like me, yeah, yes, you. Imagine starting a smear campaign on someone only for them to start a YouTube channel and prove you wrong by telling their story. It's too late. It's too late to try to act like you want to be someone's friend now. Someone doesn't need any friends, and I feel like they've proven that shit. I mean, you could introvert, introversion. I'm better by myself, goddammit, with friends like you who need them. You know, uh, a bunch of women beating men now all of a sudden. There could be some other men that are showing up that are like, and now they're, they're scared. So it's like, we're going to act like we were protecting that person. Or they're going to, I know I'm her ex or something like that. No, they are foes. They are enemies. And it's too goddamn late. Let me clear that one. They could be saying this to Obama or now that they know that something is that out there. They're nervous. All right, give me another message because I don't even care. I don't even want to. Fend, up, uh, fend off other male cats. Yeah, we were protecting her. We were doing this. Fuck you. You're a liar. You were the predators. Huh? Some of your family is waking up as well. So there could even be some family members of yours that are finding out about these attacks from these males, these women beaters, these women haters, these misogynists, these I don't like women, but I'm so codependent on them because I need them to pay my phone bill. You know, I, I need them. I need my mommy. I need her basement. I mean, does that even mean anything? Yeah, depressed. They could have said that you were depressed and shit, and here you are with a full car, like, la -di -da -di -da, dancing and singing and shit, healing your digestive system, so somebody was doing some kind of black magic um, to fuck with your digestive I don't know, man. These people are weird, I, and I just feel like they're worried about everything that's going to come out in detail about how much they tried to destroy or attack someone or two people. This could be you and someone you're in a relationship with as well, or just someone you're friends with, like, uh, bullies. Yeah, Sagittarius, but this is Earth Angel. These could even be people of faith. 
you know, people who have crosses around their neck and shit or talk about Jesus or God that are going to, you know, people are going to find out now that, like, you guys are just mean and evil and bullies and shit. Oh, this person, I have faith because of this. But Reagan, faith, Reagan. Hold on. I feel like you... You were, were finding balance from horrible attachments. This could be like shopping addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, da, da, da. and the whole time that you were trying to deal with this or keep this like balanced, these people were like sending people to fucking attack you or just just sending attacks. This could even be spiritual attacks and shit like that. They could have they could have been trying to get someone to to leave you or maybe to frustrate your life so much that you would be by yourself because these would be people that are lonely or they have nobody. Look, look, yeah, it's like they wanted somebody to deny you or they they could have possibly said like you could you could be celibate like me because this is denying dick. This is nope to dick. Uh, they could have possibly been saying that you're a prostitute and you're the one that's celibate and you got fucking prostitute telling other people that you're a prostitute and shit like that something's coming back to these people it's gonna it's gonna be like embarrassment or shame i feel shame like like it's get to, to the point where you can't even make stuff up anymore because it, it's there's too much attention hmm? way too much attention someone knows how to transmit negative and transmute negative energy into positive so when you throw all these negative attacks right they know what to do with that they feed off of the hate when you tell me I can't, I'm going to try harder. Uh, these people do that too, but it's with fucked up shit. It's more of like the arms crossed and the feet stomping and you can't tell me I can't attack you, motherfucker. Yes, we did. Now it's like we're, when they tell you, you can't keep doing this. You're just like, all right, watch me. Like it doesn't feel like arrogant. It just feels like the, the more you try to stop me, the more I, this is all I know. And, and I, I think that um, they were hoping... You know what also I feel? I feel like you had to, there's a female, there's a bunch of females that have to be in this male energy that you don't want to be in. You know what I mean? They were, you got men coming towards you that possibly want to marry you with the emperor or these are like men that, that are actual men. And, and now they, they, they want them to um, judge you. They want these guys to judge you a certain way. Maybe, maybe that's a lesson for them too. It is like believing everything that you hear and judging a book by its cover and shit like that. But the, I'm telling you, with the rewind, they wish they could go back and do shit differently. You could have said this shit. Like, you're going to wish that you didn't befriend me instead. You're going to wish that you actually helped me when you were supposed to help me. Because now there's going to be like all kinds of attention on something. And there's going to be even your father or, or uncles or people in your family or people that called you friends that knew that this shit was going on are going to be asked like, well, why didn't you do something? You know what I mean? And now this is going to work out in someone's favor. Yeah. Um, this is also a bunch of karmic masculines, like the karma respect that they should have given you respect that you earned respect. And these people demanded respect. They don't know how to respect people. Don't act like you respect somebody now. What is it? Some of these people are like illiterate or they, they dropped their dropouts and stuff and they started talking smack on somebody else. They could have even passed judgment on a divine masculine in this situation. What? Hold on. In the chat. I mean, for somebody that has um, a YouTube channel, the, some of your enemies could have even could even be in your live chat if you live stream schizophrenia. Somebody could could have said that a divine masculine has schizophrenia or something, or they they were um, starting rumors and and saying that the family this could be a divine masculine's family could have thought that he had schizophrenia and then he found balance from some kind of like spiritual attachment. If, if he was around family members that always nitpicked him or always projected their shit onto him, that could have triggered some kind of mental illness and then he healed from this shit. Healing your womb, healing schizophrenia. It feels like there's two people that focused on healing and staying to themselves, calling you from fake fucking phone numbers. This could be divine masculine. Somebody's doing this shit or somebody's going to. 
somebody's going to try doing this shit um, to try to get somebody to walk away from you, like calling and, and act. Um, they did this with Brian with me when we first were dealing with this. <laughs> and we were actually still together before I realized that we're better as friends. And I just didn't want a boyfriend during this whole thing. Um, that they were sending text messages going like, you want to come over? We would just look at each other and laugh because when you're a confident woman, you're just confident. You're confident. Only you know who you are. It made me laugh. <laughs> because one, I was like, I mean, who, what's he going to look at more than me? You know what I mean? Hired a witch doctor. Somebody in his family did, but possibly to throw that at him, like mental illness, confusion, schizophrenia. There could be a divine masculine whose family members were doing black magic on him for most of his life. And that actually manifested into schizophrenia, but it don't feel like it doesn't feel Let me find out decimal they, they don't even know where a decimal point goes <laughs> some of these people don't even know where a decimal point would go yeah this is healing this is a good person i feel like they also talked a lot of shit on a man, on a dude too and this person's actually like a really good dude a nice person i don't think that you guys know half the shit that these fucking people made up plotting that person's death too i don't know i i you may have been so spiritually protected that you had no idea that these people, how many times these people have set you up to be killed. This is death spells. If somebody did this on, on a divine masculine, something's coming back to these people. It could be death. Somebody could be currently, while they're talking to people and acting like they're someone's friend, could be currently plotting the death while they're sitting there trying to act like they're friends with somebody. It feels like they have schizophrenia. There are. This could be a cop in training. Somebody that's in training that shouldn't even be somewhere or hanging somewhere. Like, what are you doing there? Why are you here? What are you doing hanging with these people? So you're a bully too. You're a gang stalker too. Like a pussy stalker. Like, I just can't even believe people chose to do this with their lives. And and when nobody thinks this is ever going to come out in the open, it seems cool. Right? You put the word gang there, but you put like just a bunch of lost souls who like to bully other people because they're lost. It's all different, you know? <laughs> I guess gang made it seem like it was cool. No. Um, take my breath away. Now when somebody sees somebody, it takes people's breath away. It could be your looks or, or just your essence takes people's breath away now. So now what? Oh, we're fucked. Because people are going to go, why would you do this? You know, what What would make you do this? This may actually be on the news where people are going to wind up getting interrogated and people are going to go, but what made you? And as much as they're going to try it and like bullshit their way out of it, the main question is going to be, but what made you start to do this? And they're just going to be at a loss for words and they're going to realize how broken that they are because they're not going to have an excuse. This is something that Obama started though. All right. This, this, this was on Dr. Virtual 7's channel. Um, there's a quote he has underneath one of his videos. And it was, he goes, we're going to start a worldwide gang stalking. Like, I forget what the words were, but this was started and created by Obama. All right. This gang stalking thing. It was his words written in a closed trunk of a car. Does somebody have somebody in the trunk? They could have been trying to do this to you. Or a divine masculine or something like that. <laughs> what is this? Been rejected by the waiter or waitress I was flirting with. These are guys that have rejection issues, abandonment issues. You don't like me, I'm going to kill you. Go fuck yourself. You don't like me, I'm going to destroy your life. In case you missed it the first time, go fuck yourself. All right? These are broken men who turned into little boys. Charity? Maybe somebody thought, like, I don't want your charity. For somebody here, you even donated the charity and shit like that. When, when you could you could be the type of person that donates to charity when you don't really have a lot and then there's people who have all this other stuff and like they're attacking someone or I hope somebody else isn't saying that they've donated to charity I hope that there's not people who said that they donated to somebody and they never did yet you know it, it's just it, it feels real like everything that we're the op well, everything the opposite of us is what we're going to say to these people because now we're humiliated and we're embarrassed for the way that we acted because we're grown as adults Tell me about this ridden in a closed trunk of a car. Someone's son. Somebody that turned their back on somebody. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if there's if you if you decided you don't want to deal with somebody for somebody you didn't want to deal with someone anymore or date someone anymore, and you turned your back on them, and let they feel like you left them hanging, and now like you wouldn't let them treat you like an option. I feel like somebody was like, I'm the only option, and if you're gonna sit there and cheat on me, isn't that something? Where you'll have somebody that cheats on you and treats you like shit, and then finally when you won't put up with it no more, and you turn their back on them, now they attack you. Yeah. That this is somebody that's got serious rejection issues. So now they took someone's son and your son has anemia. Whose son is this? Whose whose son is this? Travis or Trina Charles or Tracy Charles? Trina? Somebody's got a real warped mind. Did you turn your back on somebody or say that you didn't want to deal with them anymore? They, 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 don't, they didn't take that rejection very well. Yeah, a cop. Maybe you decided to go after your dreams or you were like, I just don't want this anymore, God damn it. So somebody's trying to hurt you by putting your son in the trunk of their car. A Leo, possibly, but yeah, look, this is like, what are you talking? I want you. What, what do you think? This is? What you mean, nigga? Look, you want you want to heal? You want to be happy? You think you want to be happy without me? Nothing but net. So that's facts. Nothing but net. But this is like, look at this shit. How dare you? I, you there, if you tell me you're happy. <laughs> You tell me you want to do something by yourself. It don't matter if you went to someone else. It don't matter if you decided to roll solo. You know, you, you could act miserable. And they, this person still has a hard time with the fact that you rejected them or you don't want to be with them anymore or something like that. We're going to tell on you. For someone may I may not be able to speak words right. Like they could slur or they're all fucked up. Look, someone's acting like they're happy. Like, yeah, you know, we're good. I mean, I, they could even be saying that they turned their back on you. Like, I don't want nothing to do with that person. This feels like the kind of person that would say that they slept with someone or did real foul shit with someone sexually. And someone was like, motherfucker, I wouldn't even, my head won't even turn if I tried doing it manually. Okay? And this person gets rejected a lot. But for to, to mess with someone's child, though, this could be a younger fire sign. Someone that you're in a relate your, your child's father? If this isn't your child's father, then that person could be involved in this. All right, so you could be you could have been worried about where this kid is and stuff, and and who's who's let me yeah you could have thought this kid was dead. I feel like you put you wanted to get a divorce. I, I hope this isn't your child's father that did this and took the kid. But hold on a second. Who's took the kid? Who's, who's, who's trunk? Who's car? Did I already ask that? It's a cop? Is this Travis Charles or something? Or, okay, it's another cop. Oh, uh, boy. All right. This could be Kevin Charles or Keith Charles. This is your husband. On the chair. That person's on the chair, around you on the chair. Uh, somebody could have a wig on. Have you been getting high? Have you been finding out that your husband or your child's father is like just going downhill quick? Tell me about this father. Tell me about the father. Tell me about this dude. This is just to hurt you. Yeah, look, rejection. What are you talking about? I feel like you don't want nothing to do with him. Like, well, what, what are you doing for me, you know? You don't buy me nothing. You don't talk to me. You're on your phone. Your fucking face is in your phone. I mean, I mean, like it's like you clearly say that you, your actions show you don't want to be with me. So, I it's an act that they didn't want to be with you. Somebody could be that person where they just like to get a rise out of you, right? So, however, this person's parents were, or this this person's father was, that the, what they saw as love is like, okay, and they carried this on in their life. 
So now they think that love is breaking up and making up and fighting and did it in verbal abuse and physical abuse and shit like that. And that, that may have been okay with you for a little while. But now I feel like someone's like, I just can't do it anymore. It's affecting my kids. It's affecting my health. And now somebody's like, I'll get you, motherfucker. So th they would hurt their own child. I mean, what's in the cup? Don't drink anything from this person. Don't. Yeah, devil. Hello. Devil and murder. Here's murder on this one. You could have found out this person was responsible for a murder or at least one murder. So you changed. You went downhill. Or this is how you always were. And now your mask is just coming off. And and you you have you think you have the right to say whether someone's... It feels like Ike Turner. Somebody, somebody with Ike Turner and realized it. So now they don't like the fact that you want to be single now and that you're independent. Are you have you been taking care of this dude? I don't even feel like this dude brings money home. Like you're just a oh weight, you're just skin. You're not taking care of me, you're not taking care of the bills or your kids. I'm taking care of everything. Somebody got a voodoo doll as well on you. They're doing voodoo on you too. What is this shit with this motherfucker, man? Yeah, look, the sacrifice. Now this person is stuck because you don't want nothing to do with them. Somebody's realizing, I'm lost. Lost without you. Right? I need you to take care of me. So this person could have acted like they were like this. I'm that motherfucker. I'm the man, right? And then you turned your back on them and it's like, um, I need my phone bill paid. <laughs> Oh, shit. This is how this person was raised, though. This person was raised as trouble. All this person does is, is, is start trouble. So why do I want... I want you, don't, you can't tell me I have to have trouble in my life, bruh. Like, who are you? The entitlement that I feel off this motherfucker makes me want to put my hand through the wall. This dude could be like that where he, put, he just hits shit or put his hands on you and stuff like that. I'm telling you, somebody's going to wind up killing this dude. It's just going to be what comes back to this cat. A liar, a thief, you're a liar, and you're cheating. Yeah, you're cheating, lying, verbal abuse, physical abuse. I mean, this person could have even forced themselves on you sexually. You may have been raped by this person and don't even realize it. So what, I'm supposed to just open arms, right? I'm supposed to just greet you with open arms every day? Ugh. So I don't feel like he could phase you, right? Like, I think this dude tried everything he possibly could to get a reaction out of you, but you didn't. And he knew the kid would do it. Yeah, and, and somebody was like, you'll be stuck without me. Where are you going to go without me? And she's like, bitch, uh, uh, let me show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. And now and now that just blew shit up, man. Like, that, that made this motherfucker, like, so, yeah, there you are. Because I, I think that if, if you're... You're, this is happiness, though. Like, I want to see what this is like. I mean, I hear about it. They say good things about it. Peace, love, and happiness, right? It's like pursuing happiness. But this person, you could have told this person that if you don't walk away from this gang life or you don't get away from these people or even your family, that that I'm done. Like, I, I feel like you. there are so many chances for this person to just man up and do the right thing. And then only when you were serious about leaving and staying gone, now it's, I'll change. I feel like it's been constant. I'll change. No, you didn't, right? I'll never do that again. I, I don't, I feel like this is like your whole life revolved around this person and now you were living your life for you. That's when the murder comes into play. This feels like it's, it would be a story on, on like, um, uh, 48, what, the first 48 or some shit like that. If you don't get away embarrassed, now somebody's embarrassed. Now you're embarrassed, bro. Let's find out some more about this this shit. Like, like you 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 took your child to try to hurt the mother, the one who gave birth, doing magic from jail or prison. I mean, like I don't know if this person, this person could have just got out or something like that, or they're in and out. It it just feels like somebody. And you can't blame everything on your dad or at some point you become a man on your own, you know? Handle your shit. Slipping in the dark, pretty soon you're gonna pay. This has to be a gang member. 
It has to be. There's nothing, there's, you know, when, when you're out, this ain't someone that calls himself a leader or a general or something like that because, or, or they weren't following somebody with that title because when you're a leader or a general, because I, I don't like the fact that people take those titles of those that had those titles that went to war. I don't like that. You're nothing like them. To just have a group of criminals come together and put fucking leader and general in chief on some shit. And then you see other guys that actually went to war and fought for other people. They deserve those titles. You don't. When, when you are leading somebody, they do well in life. They remind you of how badass that you are and grateful. So let's see what that, you're grateful for something or somebody lash and core this person is rotten to the core i'm sorry but th th there is no chance of rehabilitation for this person not not from what i see it's just too much darkness man and it's because of whoever he was surrounding himself around this has to be gang members who like to see him down they like to see other dudes down you don't you need to surround yourself with dudes that like to build you back up otherwise you just keep getting darker and you think this is okay what are you grateful for? An earth angel? Your ancestors. You're, you're, you're going into spirituality. You, you could have been a Christian or there could have been some kind of doctrine to play and like, I, that's not doing shit for me. You know, where the fuck is Jesus at? You could have said so many times like, God, please help me with this situation and just felt like it was getting worse. You could be realizing you are one, actually. You could be a chosen female and you're realizing that I am, you know, I feel like you're just like everything I need. I got I want my ancestors, look, spirit guides, ancestors. You're grateful for some kind of earth angel or some kind of healing that you got. There could be, you could be with someone else, a Sagittarius possibly that, that you're happy with, or this is just what you want. You know, I think you're cool by yourself though. Maybe you're realizing for the first time in your life that let me try it, right? You could have been the kind of person that always had boyfriends going from one to another to another and you were just dating the same type of motherfucker, right? And now you're just by yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're very intuitive now. You can tell when he's lying. <laughs> you started healing and he started praying. I mean, P-R-E-Y, okay? A heart. All right, he has a cold heart. There, I'm telling you, are you with somebody else or you're talking with somebody else? If so, they are already plotting on this. All right. I, like I, you found your match or someone that, because it's going to be for multiple females. There's somebody here who found somebody, but I don't feel like you were cheating. I feel like you did it right. You said, I'm done. Like you made sure you handled this the way he would, you know what I mean? You would want it handled for you. There's nothing else you could have possibly done in this situation. It didn't matter what you do. I can already feel it. You, 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 you're the kind of person where you treat people how you want to be treated. And this person could have possibly been changing you a little bit. And that could have been what sparked it. Like, I just feel like I'm becoming dark like you. And I don't want that, right? Yeah, and you're having some kind of spiritual awakening threat. Somebody could see you or your person as a threat. So you, if you're with somebody or you're you're talking to somebody, I feel like this motherfucker is a threat to this dude. Okay, like this person won't hit you or abuse you, but they will fuck this motherfucker up. Is what I feel like. If this isn't somebody that you already met, then this is somebody that your ancestors want you to be with. Like somebody that you may not even realize that they have for you. Oh, somebody is like cuckoo can fucking chew I mean <laughs> I'm sorry but th this is you didn't realize what you had until it was gone again I just heard again like how many times that this is one of those dudes that threatens so that you don't leave and I feel like you stood up and was like go ahead and kill me you know what I mean I mean I feel like I'm slowly dying every day anyway what the fuck you want from me god damn it just just take me out but I, I gotta at least stand up for myself and you did and that's 
Yeah, yeah, I feel like, and, and so now what? This person couldn't fade you. Like this person, you have somebody, even if this is a friend, that's somebody that's helping you get through this. That's why he can't get you like this. So what did he say? I'll take the kid or the kids instead like that, and I'll fucking take them. But what's he going to do? He probably took them to a friend's house, or he was going to take them to a friend's house. I could see somebody going like, I'll take the kids and handle the kids, and it's like, I can't take care of these fucking kids. I couldn't take care of these kids when I was there. I'm going to act like I am, though. I'll take them to a friend's house. I'll have them take care of the kids and then I'll act like I'm 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 a father now. Or it, I feel like it was to try to um prove something to you that maybe he could be a father or I don't know. It it feels like very um impulsive and careless and not thought through. Yeah, they want he wants to hold on to the kids. Oh my god. Yeah, just to hurt you. This person has been hurt by so many other females. This, this you are an earth angel. This this dude has um been with so many conniving, sneaky, you know. This person was cheating anyway. I mean, I mean, so what what is it that you want, bro? You want her to sit around and get cheated on and get fucking verbally abused and you don't pay for any bills? I mean, what what what's next? Let me kill you? ask for and beg for me to kill you i mean what the fuck more do you want from this chick <laughs> she gave you your kids she she's loyal you know you took her for granted that th this shit don't stay around forever the fuck a girl he could he could have been with someone that was actually not a woman but like a girl and found out this person was too young yes i don't know this may this may happen somebody may get locked up because they're with someone that's too young somebody made a bad judgment call there could be somebody that this dude was cheating with that is trying to get him back now by setting him up to be with a girl that he's going to wind up getting arrested if that didn't happen already <laughs> for moving away like like you it just feels like a love triangle going really bad all right and, and so this is how funny this will be, right? The girl that he was cheating on you with is actually his karma. Like, I, I've had a situation with one of my female friends where this happened, where she was the wife, he was cheating. The wife and the girl that was cheating actually liked each other. Like, like they became friends because the girl that he was cheating with wound up getting him back for both of them. Because the wife had kids and the girl didn't. And she actually, like, whether she knew she was doing it like that, but they wound up becoming best friends and shit because they had so much in common. And You know what I mean? This could be something like that where thank this girl because she set him up or something and, and he's going to wind up. Because she's like, you leave me, motherfucking nigga. Right? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> and, and I feel like you guys... I don't feel like you guys dislike each other if you know each other or you shouldn't because you both were hurt by the same person, right? This person could have kept trying to compare you to her or compare both of you to try to get you. It was just a friend. For somebody, he could have came in between a friendship or you guys actually got along and, and he intentionally dated this chick or something. Like It feels like every time you had something good in your life, it's a... <sighs> You know, whether it's a job, anything that would separate you from him or make him feel like he was losing control. Your aunt. It was though it was your aunt who he was messing with or he tried to. People mad, mad that people love you. I mean, you, for somebody, your own aunt was messing with him. I don't feel like you care. I feel like that you stopped caring a while ago. You were just trying to be respectful. It could have been for a doctrine. Like, I don't want to get divorced, you know, because, but then it's like, well, why would God care about me, this motherfucker? Why, why would this God want me to stay with this person? Like, I, I feel like there's a, a, a religion or something that kept this shit going for way too long. Yeah, your aunt's a coward. So did your aunt have something to do? with this child thing wants to have jumped you I'm telling you I feel like your aunt you got a jealous you're chosen there's no doubt <laughs> there's too much hate here unwarranted hate though all right I can feel when someone deserves the hate and it's the ones on the other side I but I don't feel like you hate them because you know who you are I'm telling you that so they wanted to abduct you as well Get out of here. Yeah, this could be an air sign, but this is a narcissist. 
It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't really feel like that matters. That's why I don't really give signs. Uh, yeah, look. This is you, though. You could be just that person that says how it is. Because you got a problem with that. Right? You working on yourself. And because you are divine feminine, I'm telling you. And your aunt is a karmic female. And she can't stand it. I feel like just the energy you exude is like bird, you know, angels and shit like that. And just very angelic um, type of shit. And she can't stand this shit. But someone didn't get your aunt pregnant, did they? I'm sorry. This ain't, this is going to be from multiple people. But this chick is pregnant. I'm noticing this, this divine, this empress here. Hold on a second. Somebody, he got your aunt pregnant. And I feel like she thought. This is karma. Because what's he going to do with this kid? <laughs> I mean, he's stealing the ones he's got now. So this is already karma. Somebody's getting karma just for being impregnated by this dude, by Ike Turner here. Um, because I feel like he's struggling to even pay his phone bill. And God damn it. Yeah, he's struggling to find wish fulfillment with this bitch. I feel like he wants nothing to do with her. This was just strictly to like get back at you or something like that. And she could have lied and said she was on birth control. Or, yo, this feels like an episode of Jerry Springer. You don't belong around these people at all. I can feel it. She can't compete because she don't compare to you. I feel like she's always, always, always trying to compare herself to you. Yeah. Yeah. This, now he's trying to figure out what? What's he trying to figure out, right? What's he trying to figure out? Uh, possibly how to put something in her drink. Oh, my God. I feel like this dude is sitting there trying to figure out, well, I... Because your dick got you in trouble, cuz. Right? Again. And so I feel like he's trying to figure out how to put something in her drink. <laughs> to get rid of her. Yeah. Because he's waiting on something. This could be a life insurance policy. Oh my God. <laughs> she could have turned her back on him, too. This is this this dude's life everything he's ever done to women because it feels like he's hated women for a while and and everything he's ever done to women whether it's sisters and mothers girlfriends you know what i mean is coming back at one time everybody is turning their back on this cat and so now what <laughs> Yeah, this is coming full circle. I'm telling you. I don't even feel like your aunt wants anything to do with this cat. Like, nigga, I'll raise this kid on my own. Okay. <laughs> it, it just... I, he's, he had... I, it feels like he... um, Like, player. On a hundred, though. And maybe this worked for a while. It feels like the aging narcissist. The narcissist that the... the the tyrant, the fall of a tyrant. I feel like this motherfucker has been a tyrant for most of his life. And it's because of his father, his grandfather. I don't know what his uncles are like. I mean, I don't, I'm sure that there's probably at least one decent dude in his family, right? This is a toxic bloodline. He was supposed to break generational curse of just being a misogynist and being in and out of prison and jail and this, that, or the other. Created a fake Twitter or Facebook account to stalk another person. So he's stalking you. Passed out on my head in the toilet. So he's a mix of Ice, Ike Turner. I said Ice. He could be on that. Ike Turner and, and the late Elvis. Okay? This this dude is like a combination. This, I'm done. Uh, I feel like you're... Like, you can chill or relax because this person is going to be removed from your life. So, none of you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what the aunt, what the problem is with the aunt, if you talk to his aunt or nothing like that. But I just feel like for every woman he's ever done dirty and betrayed, um, this person is going to be removed. It, I don't know what way. It could be jail for with this young girl or it could be something else. But this is a fucking hot mess and this person is empty inside all right and you're a kind person and we're not going nowhere love you philly out <laughs>